Hello YouTube and welcome to the channel. Now then, today's video is very kindly being sponsored by Banggood who have supplied uh, this for review. It's the Flyhal X04. It's basically a 550 motored um, 1 tenth scale basher. Now the eagle eyed amongst you might recognise this as an XLF X04 and you'd be absolutely right. Because if you've watched a few of my previous videos you'll know that Flyhal they don't actually make their own RCs, they just cherry pick other people's and basically brand them up as their own. But with one twist, uh, they're generally a lot cheaper and they come with a few more bits and pieces than the originals. Now just to give you an idea of the price difference we're talking about, uh, this is on Banggood at the moment for 62 quid, which is about $83. And the nearest equivalent XLF, which is the X06 I believe at the moment, is £99 and $135 and um, with the fly hal like I say we'll open the box in a minute with the fly hal you get a few more extra bits and pieces that you don't get with the XLF now at the time of making this video I'm trying to get to a promo code for this uh, truck off Banggood so hopefully by the time it's finished in your viewing it there might be one in the description anyway enough waffle from me uh, let's get this baby cracked open okay so in the box we have now this is where in my humble opinion fly hal are an absolute bargain and, I'll, and, we'll, and this is why we've got one spare painted shell now this is a completely different shell to the one that's actually on the truck so you get a spare shell uh, we have a box of bits now in the box of bits we've got a wing we've got two battery chargers some spare um, body posts which I presume are for uh, this shell we've also for some strange reason but I haven't uh, worked out why yet uh, we have a spare steering uh, linkage for some reason uh, we have our fly hal uh, parts and instruction manual we've also got a dual battery plug so there's the first clue as to what what extra you get now i think as well let's, let's just crack this open let's have a look we've also got a little screwdriver and wheel spanner stroke wrench and a few spare body clips um, some self-adhesive foam i'm sure that will become clear uh, soon what else have we got right We've got oh, the truck itself uh, with another body shell. Oh god, we've got one battery which is sticking out from underneath the wheel arch. Uh, it is a 1600 milliamp hour LiPo. And at the bottom of the box we've got our transmitter. Now I'm not a massive fan of these transmitters, they're quite basic and they feel they do feel a bit cheap considering the price of XLFs uh, but we've just basically got an on off switch and steering trim and I think oh god it takes three AA batteries which you have to supply right let's have a look at the truck itself first impressions it is a good looking piece of kit this is it's very reminiscent of uh, my Zingli Hong 9125 um, it uses the same wheels the chassis and suspension are different though, or slightly different. I think it uses the same shocks because they are very, very bouncy. I'm not sure if you can convert them to oil, but I'm pretty sure that they do do a set of oil shocks for this. Uh, but looks, as far as looks concerned, I think this looks the business, honestly. Anyway, let's lift the lid and uh, see what we get underneath. Right then, underneath the bodywork we have our 550 motor there with a little blue radiator on it. Uh, our brushed uh, ESC, uh, we've got, let's move that wire out the road, there we've got our five wire steering servo. Um, these tyres feel as though they've got uh, foams in them as well. Uh, and there's our other LiPo battery. I've just been looking over this thing, I've noticed a couple of cool features. Uh, one of which is this central transmission shaft here. Not only is it all metal with uh, metal cups either end, but it all, I don't know if you can tell on the camera actually, but it sits in its own little transmission tunnel so uh, no wires or anything else can get wrapped round it. Uh, and also we've got this uh, battery clip here, you pull that down uh, and lift it up and it uh, secures the battery in this tray. But there I found where the other what the other piece of foam is for, it's for secure the extra battery in. But literally this uh, battery clip here just slides in there and uh, clips in. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a very basic tear down on this. Uh, I'm gonna pull the wheels off, etc., and possibly a, a diff cover and see what's underneath. Because we seem to have quite a lot of metal bits and pieces on this. So I want to know to what extent uh, 
the metalwork extends into the transmission basically. Right then, the first bit of good news. These shock absorbers, although they're not oil, I think they can be converted quite easily because in the tops we've got little diaphragms and there's a little nylon bush there. Oh, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Little nylon bush there. If you were to replace that with O-rings, uh, I bet you these would seal and you could use these as oil dampers. Right then guys, I am genuinely excited about this RC. Inside the transmission, we have all metal gears. Every single one of those gears is metal. Uh, we've got metal drive cups on the diffs. We've got metal drive shafts. Uh, we've got metal drive cups on the wheel end here. Uh, we've got metal hubs front and back. Um, so what I might do now is I'm going to whip one of these diff covers off and see if the diffs are metal. I'm fairly certain the entire drivetrain on this thing is metal. So for 62 quid, this could be the bargain of the century. OK, then, so I can actually confirm that the differentials are all metal inside. The only thing that isn't metal is the plastic case that surrounds them. Uh, there's a good amount of lubricant inside as well, which is always a good sign. And I just thought I'd give you a quick look at the rear gearbox there. There'd be a bit of transmission, all metal running on ball races. Uh, and there are the metal drive shafts to the rear. So this thing has got quite a lot of metal in it. Um, so what I'm going to attempt to do now is try and put it back together, uh, hopefully in the right order, and uh, we can take it out for a bash. back inside uh, and I tell you what it's getting very cold and damp out there here in the UK now that the evenings are drawing in uh, but anyway uh, back inside what do we think of the Flyhal X04 uh, let's start with some bad points um, suspension the shocks on this are very very bouncy but to be honest that's par for the course and a lot of these uh, cheaper Chinese trucks they're all the same really they all tend to use the same shock units uh, and these aren't going to be any different because they're basically uh, an XLF under the skin so uh, you can get aftermarket oil shocks for these and I would seriously consider getting some uh, because it does make it bounce all over the place and it just sort of uh, generally affects the handling right the second bad point is the transmission on this thing is quite noisy I know it's all metal and they generally are as a rule of thumb uh, but after I took it apart for the first half of the video I noticed that it was quite noisy so I stripped it all down again couldn't find anything wrong with it apart from uh, the spur gear that metal spur gear running off the motor pinion it's just been machined slightly off center so the holes for the shaft it runs on it runs slightly eccentrically on the shaft and that's causing this to be a little bit noisy uh, I don't think it will do any harm to it short term uh, long term you might have to um, swap some bearings around uh, possibly uh, in the gearbox but short term I can't see it doing any damage at all but that's my second thing the um, on this one anyway the transmission is a little bit noisy now the third bad point is the fact that you don't get a parts manual for this uh, when I unpacked the box in the first half of the video I said, oh, you get this is our parts and instruction manual. Well, in fact, it's just an instruction manual. There are, there are no parts listed in it whatsoever. 
Now this would be an issue if you didn't know that this is basically the same as an XLF X04 and basically all the XLF spares will fit this. Now the fourth bad point is very minor. It's just the fact that uh, these wheel nuts the truck comes with seem to love to back themselves off. Um, so basically I just took a, a wheel wrench stroke spanner with me and every now and then just give them half a turn and didn't have an issue. Now the fifth and final bad point is again it's a, it's a minor niggle. It just got on my nerves a little bit. It's the fact that this body shell which is my personal favourite does tend to rub on the front wheels uh, when they're at full lock. Uh, especially if you go over a bump you can hear it catching again it's it's a minor nuisance and if it really got on your nerves that much they do give you that truggy body shell uh, which would which would completely knock it on the head right then the good points the first of which is you get two body shells with this two batteries two battery chargers and a bag of spares um what's not to like you don't get that with the xlf uh, but you do with the fly hal Second good point, this thing's got a reasonable turn of speed because it's 550 brush motor. It's not the fastest thing out there, uh, but it's certainly not the slowest for its size. Now another good point is because it's got those two batteries, uh, you get a reasonable run time out of it. Uh, I got approximately 30 minutes. I was pretty much spanking it round everywhere um, and, and due to the size of the truck and the fact it's got a 550 motor in it, I don't think it was that bad. Also, you can fit uh, a much larger battery in those battery in that battery tray, and you could probably fit two of them in as well. So, if you wanted to, you could have a lot longer fun time. The thing I've got to compare this to is the Zingli Hong uh, 9125, and I did like the fact that this has got a slightly longer wheelbase, which does actually make it a little bit more stable in a straight line. And this has got um, a slightly higher turn of speed than the Zingli Hong. Now the last good point and probably the best thing about this Flyhal X04 is the price. $76 or £60, uh, you do get one hell of an RC for the money. Um, you get two batteries, two shells, two battery chargers, load of spares. Um, this thing is an absolute bargain. You do get one hell of an RC, you do get a lot of RC for your money for that. And personally, I think this represents excellent value for money. I mean, the XLF version of this is almost twice the price. And this comes with an extra battery, shell, two chargers, and a load of bits. Um, as ever, when I'm testing it, I didn't hold back. I jumped it, bashed it, ran it through the woods, ran it through mud, ran it through water, ran it through a load of bloody leaves. Um, like I say, I didn't hold back. Nothing broke. Nothing fell off. Uh, it kept going. Um, and personally, I think this is one tough RC. Okay, conclusion time. Would I recommend the Flyhal X04 to anyone? Uh, absolutely I would, yes. It just represents excellent value for money. You get such a lot of RC for your money, uh, what's not to like? I think at the moment, Banggood have added shipping to the price, but even, even with a little bit of shipping added, I think it still represents excellent value for money. As ever, there's an affiliate link in the description below. I've also managed to wangle a discount coupon stroke code off them so if you did want to purchase this uh, if you use the coupon or the code you'll get a little bit of money off which is always nice and if you use any of the affiliate links you'll be doing the channel a massive massive favor once again a big thank you to banggood for sponsoring the video and as ever if you've enjoyed the video and you find it of some use and interest please give it a big thumbs up and if you're feeling that way inclined hit that subscribe button for more similar future content thanks for stopping by guys and i'll catch you again soon thank you